You're watching the Fox 8 10 o'clock news with Neil McNeil, Katie Nordine, and Max Weather Chief Meteorologist Van Denton. One year ago tonight, much of East Greensboro was in the dark. A tornado with winds of 135 miles per hour had cut a 1,000 foot jagged track that stretched 16 miles. More than a thousand structures from homes to businesses to churches to schools were damaged. 37 of them were destroyed. Greensboro's mayor, Nancy Vaughn, learned about the tornado while eating dinner at a restaurant on Battleground Avenue. She got a call from the city manager telling her she needed to sign a state of emergency declaration. What she saw over the next few hours still haunts her today, and I recently walked through the area with her one year later. We still see a lot of damage, and we know that a lot of people are still feeling the tornado. A lot of people still hurting. A lot of people are still hurting. We knew that it was going to be a long road back. Looking at Bessemer, I didn't get over here until about three days later, yeah. and it was still amazing that, you know, the, the steeple was in the streets. Yeah, and from the church over yes, there. Yes, yeah. I mean, this area of Bessemer, the devastation, I was not aware of the, those first two days, how bad Bessemer right. had been hit. Talk to me about the point you realized, hey, this is really bad. It was first thing the next morning, I went out with the police chief and to see the devastation with the sunrise, it looked like a movie set. Yeah. To see, you know, all of the trees that were just down, the way that they had been twisted, the way that the roofs were off of the homes, to see the people out on the street, just, you know, the look of utter shock on their face. Um, it was devastation like I had never seen before. I I'm wondering if one particular image from that day kind of stands out uh, in your mind that you remember to this day. There was a house and I think it was on Apache and I have a picture of it. I remember um, looking at this mailbox in pristine condition and there was some azalea bushes behind it and some steps these steps leading to nowhere. The house is gone. This gentleman came up to me and he, he said, that's my house, that's, that's where I lived. Many have praised the city's response to this particular storm. Looking back over it, how would you describe that response? The city's response, coupled with the neighborhood response, the neighbors really I think took the lead on this from the moment this happened. Right. You know, they didn't wait for the city to come out right. and say what needs to be done. They really took the lead. I think we've made some good recovery, but we know that we've got a long way to go. We see houses that have been boarded up. Yes. That we know that landlords, homeowners that have taken insurance payments and have left and the they area. Have gone, yeah. You know, in that case, the city hopefully can come in and maybe we can buy these homes, we can fix them up and make them rentable. Um, we know that some people have been underinsured. We have the ability to help people repair these homes so that they can get back on the rental market. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to, we know that our stock is down, that we don't have enough safe, affordable houses for people. Yes. What more needs to be done to bring these landlords into compliance? What would you like to see happen? Years ago, every unit on the market had to be inspected. We would like to see something where repeat offenders would have to have their units re-inspected. Right. right, that so makes sense. The, the good landlords, the ones that you know don't have their, their units brought before minimum housing, that they don't get caught up in this. Right. But you know, the, the repeat bad actors, they should be held to a higher standard. If you had a message for the people of East Greensboro who may be watching this, what would it be one year later? One year later, we said it was gonna take a while. We're still here. We still talk about this every week. Um, you know, we haven't forgotten. We're still looking for ways to 
repair the neighborhoods that need to be repaired. East Greensboro is a great place to invest yeah. and live. You know, East Greensboro is part of a great city. Absolutely. Mayor Vaughn says the city is still waiting on and hoping for $1 million, which will come from the state of North Carolina's general fund. The city could use this money to, among other things, buy abandoned properties, like she mentioned. That legislation still in the General Assembly will keep you posted on its progress. In the meantime, donations are still needed. If you'd like to do that, be sure to contact the United Way of Greater Greensboro or the Community Foundation of Greater Greensboro.